Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, brothers and sisters, I wanted to speak about how Allah has given us the signs and we have to be open to the signs to actually make a change. And many of us aren't really open to the signs. And that's due to many things. So it's three things, three main contributions. One, you're ignorant. Two, you see it, but you don't want to take action. Three, you just don't see it. We are programmed a certain way and we have programmed ourselves and the society around us has programmed us a certain way to be stuck with who we are today and actually not improve as individuals and as Muslims. So when people don't pray consistently, they don't read the Quran, they don't do those things, it's also because they program their mindset on themselves to actually not be consistent and not be passionate about it. The reason why we attract bad things is because we are in a bad vibration. We have to be in a good frequency, good elevated frequency and positive one, strong, for us to actually attract what the positivity, the vibration that we actually want because we'll be in sync with, uh, we'll be in harmony with abundance, then we can get that. Because there will be no excuse for us to make to not get it. Most people nowadays are just making excuses. And it's because of the programming. Social media. People around you. Environment around you. If you have a dirty house. If people around you are being negative. If you are enjoying in that negativity. Of course you're going to be negative. There's no, there's no other way to be positive or to be negative. You have to take action. However, brothers and sisters, I want you to comprehend this, this concept. So it starts with going into your conscious, then it goes to your subconscious, then it goes out to your body. I'll give you an example. So if I'm a very nice person, however, suddenly I moved to a certain place, suddenly I started to get new friends. And these friends were being so negative and they were doing it consistently and it was their habit. It was them. And I started hanging, on, uh, hanging around with them. Consistently, if I start to do that over and over and over, my mind will automatically just start to be more negative because that's my environment, that's what it's getting used to. So it's all about consistency. Whatever's consistently being put in your mind, that's ultimately what's going to be you. So I just wanted to discuss how we can actually get what we want and be open to Allah's signs. Because that's also one of the traits that makes us ignorant, not want to do it, and not see the signs. What we can do is start to clean our house or clean our environment. Doesn't have to be much. Start with your bedroom. Start with a couple things. Clean your environment. Secondly, you know, take care of yourself. So shaving your armpits, um, getting haircuts. Having sh consistent showers, eating well, drinking well, anything about yourself, just take care of yourself, take care of your environment. Then, thirdly, hang around with people that you want to keep for the future. I'm not talking about those people who just want to have fun, go party, or maybe not even that. Maybe they just don't, they don't have long-term goals. And if they don't have long-term goals, and the longer you spend time with them, you're gonna you're gonna lose your long-term goals so it's better not to even have that friend uh, as a friend or maybe just limit time i would say just limit your time with them so then you can work on yourself then you can help them out as well because you can teach them this so when we start to be more positive and we actually do take actions on those steps we'll actually start seeing allah's signs so when allah tells us to be healthy when we ask allah to be healthy and he gives us a sign we eat a donut because that's how we're programmed. So we get a donut, we eat it. And as soon as we eat it, we feel something, we feel bad. Then we start reflecting on it because we start to focus on it. And that's what we asked Allah for. Then he gives us a sign that you're feeling bad. Something's got to change if you want to be healthy. Now Allah doesn't just give you what you want. He gives you signs for you and opportunities to take action on what you want. So if you're asking for wealth, he's going to give you signs to actually be wealthy. Then you have to take action. That's how Allah works. And that's how it's actually beautiful. It gets us to be in a positive state. 
whenever we actually take action on Allah's steps and we feel good when we take action we feel so good about ourselves so brothers and sisters let's reprogram our mind and let's take action on these steps to actually improve our daily lives and get the life that we always want and that we want and Allah wants let's start to improve our lives it's never too late you're 30 40 50 60 when is it going to change you don't want to go to Jannah in a bad state you want to be with the righteous so it's only right for you to program yourself to be righteous to do all those good things and to keep those habits consistent consistency is a very big key to winning if you keep it consistent if you consistently do good habits good things it will automatically get instilled into your subconscious then you'll start to express that energy you know when you see a person a Muslim, well dressed, well taken care of, he's glowing. You're like, MashaAllah, he's, he's got the energy that I want. I want to be that guy. We all want to be him, but we don't want to take action. And all he's got is he reprogrammed, reprogrammed himself to being righteous. And that's why we see certain people, we're like, MashaAllah, then other, other people, you know, we're like, uh, I, I never want to be like that person. Uh, inshallah, I don't become. Alhamdulillah that I'm this person. And our programming is our standards. So whatever we're programmed to do, that's our standard. And that's what we're going to be at baseline. So if we want to improve, we're going to push it, push it, push it. Then, then with consistency, you'll bump your standards up and up and up and up and up. And you start to become a good person and whatever you want you'll get mashallah subhanallah subhanallah i hope you enjoyed watching this video may allah bless you all may allah take care of you and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh